Hello and welcome to Brides in TG. My name is Vyacheslav and today I tell you about my participation in third North Star Cup on the sphere. And the first I tell you about event. North Star Cup is a tournament, online tournament, organized by Finnish old school community. It's very fine. Each month it sometimes have breaks, but each month it contains different format. You can play Swedish, seven points, singleton, or something else from popular old school formats or even not so popular. And for this month, it was a Swafe. Most I like this event that you play a round system. It means that you have not a lot of opponents like in any other event, must it's 6 or 7, but you have a lot of rounds. So all players play a round in the week or maybe faster or slower, and then take pairings for next round and each time this thing. I like it more because, you know, with uh, more <laughs> more players, more games system when you need to play a lot of opponents, sometimes you can play three times per day and sometimes you can play just once per week. It depends on your and your opponent's time each time. Here you can play in the one round on the one game and it's more comfort for me <laughs> and for many other players, I think. Now tell you about this format. Swaffe, if you don't know, it's a Swedish with fallen empires with uh, restricted him to Tarach and uh, friendly reprint list. It's not like Atlantic because him restricted and different one list for cards. And not Swedish because it have friendly reprints. So you can use cards from Foregan, Black Border or Revised. In this event, I used a uh, mono black midrange deck. You can see it here. It's a classic mono black midrange. It contains not big changes. My deck is budget, so I use Sushi instead of Jizam Jeans. <laughs> it's a very expensive guy. And also, I have not Alexandria, Moxon, and even House Orb. So instead of them, I use more lands and Animate Dead. Animate Dead is fine in the review. You can start from Dark Ritual Hippie, take Lightning Bolt, and play. Animate that on second turn to return hip. That's very nice. Also, you can animate something that you discard by hip or him to the rush. Shivan Dragon or maybe Ser Angel. That contains not a lot of removal, just three target removals in real life and just three discs. That fine, destroy all permanents, but slightly slow. No. Sideboard contains a lot of answers for aggro and control mostly, something for mid range. It contains six removal. Target removal, paralyzes and terrors against aggressive decks. Four cards against control, scepter to discard card and grid to draw card to generate uh, card advantage. Gloom against any deck that contains white spells and expensive white creatures like Serenity, mostly against control too. And Royal Assassin is nice versus you know decks that contains only swords to purchase as removal. Because with little bit of removal, you open it to kill your hippie or your assassin, you need to choose between. And assassin can kill big threats like Ernagin, or you can kill Sir Angel mostly, but if you provide Sir Angel, <laughs> you can do it. I have very good result on the event, as I think. I finish with 3 and 1, 3 wins and 1 loss. And it's funny, but for the event I play Sinkhole at least 12 times. Sinkhole is my best card for the event. Win for me a lot of games. I was very lucky. <laughs> so, now I tell you about rounds. In the first one I play against Mono Blue Merfolks. It's deck with Lord of Atlantis, so Merfolks from Revised and Fallen Empires, and also with Pair of Dundons. My opponent that contains funny combo, you know, with uh, Merfolk Assassin and Barge that work like Royal Assassin and also can give to some creatures I don't walk. First game was not a big surprise. Mono Black have problems with a lot of creatures and also Merfolks contain Boomerang to answer for disc or can just counter disc. So my opponent play little creatures. I have not target removal in the game and was dead very quickly. Can't protect myself. In the second game, <laughs> I have this specific case with sinkholes. On the one game, I play 
free copies of sinkholes and it's sleep mine. So I destroyed entirely open it mana base and mm, it was easy win for me. Last game was not so easy, but it's very interesting you now. After side but my opponent play copper tablet and even two copies of copper tablet. It's carted deal one point of damage to any player in the game each turn. But at the same time I draw my sideboard removal to kill each creature. So I paralyze one merfolk, use pair of terrors against merfolks, and when I draw drain life and play it for four into my opponent, deal four points of damage, gain four lives, and uh, copper tablet skill, not me. <laughs> very interesting, very specific. In the second game, it was not very interesting. I play against the deck. Or maybe some no, other control deck, but not pro in the control versions. And it was, you know, strange. In the first game, my opponent has color screw. Uh, he keep some lands, but I use sinkhole to destroy maybe city of grass. Something that stabilizes. And I play Suchi. My opponent have a disenchantment hand, but have not white source. So I just go to attack five times. Maybe not five, maybe I have a mission factory, I don't remember the real. And second game was similar. I don't remember, I think my opponent take a mulligan. Maybe in one game did he take more than two. Again, I play uh, Black Orders on the first turns and try to erase Sarah Angel. And also I use Sinkhole to destroy one white source. My opponent have second one, but Orders can die by white spells. And also my opponent had a Brass after Sarah. I think he, he drew it, but have not second white source. I destroy it. Player with the deck also finished event with 3-1, so it's a single game he lost, because I'm lucky. <laughs> nice. Game 3 was against goblins. Not a simple goblins, not budget. It was blue, red and white goblins. <laughs> it contains blue power and psionic blasts for more direct damage, not only balls and goblin grenades, so very boon decks. And also contains white for sideboard answers. Contains disenchant and balance, I think, in the sideboard. Game one was very painful for me. I have a mulligan and even screw. I have a sushi, strip mine, factory, but draw soul ring. Draw soul ring on the second turn. So I play sushi late and also. Oh, I even not play sushi. My opponent plays strip mine to my second source. So I have only 3 mana and can play Sushi. Dead by creatures and direct damage. And game one, game 2 was very fine. <laughs> very, very interesting. Because uh, I remove for cheap removal under all dreams. Because you know it's aggressive goblins. Better to kill creatures, not use dreams as win con. <laughs> and it was <laughs> look like mistake because uh, I play fast Sushi, my friend finds the answer to him. And after this, he play Wheel of Fortune. Draw seven cards. I draw seven cards too. He play Lightning Bolt to me, I think. And when I play one of my seven cards, Mind Twist, with help of Dark Ritual to discard, maybe even an entire hand. But at the next turn, after this, my friend draw a card and play Time Twister. <laughs> so we again draw seven cards. I don't draw Mind Twist this time. But on the next turn, I play Demonic Tutor for my twist, and with help of Dark Ritual, discard a lot of cards again. My opponent plays some direct damage to me, I play a creature to go to attacks, and I have not so many life points, 8 or 9. So he play a pair of direct damage spells and maybe go to attack with Factory twice. I don't sure. And after this, all this stuff, he draw into uh, empty hand. Pill of Fortune. <laughs> Draw some cards, play Lightning Bolt to me, Goblin and Goblin Grenade. And I'm lost again. I have I had not drawn the Demonic or Mind Twist <laughs> after this last one wheel, but it's not important. So as you can see, Underworld Dreams can help me in this game very well. <laughs> Fine. In this game I lost. And last fourth round I play against Black and Red Midrange with some green splash for sideboard too. It's a nice deck with land destruction and big creatures, 
but I am just more lucky. In the first game, my opponent played really fast Suchi by help of the maybe little and power on the first turn. And as you remember, mainly my deck have not a lot of answers for this card. I protect myself by Singil to don't take you know shatter, block Suchi and trade for him. But uh, maybe it was slightly slow when my opponent play Vampire two, <laughs> and I have not blockers. Also, he play such turn, maybe, but it's not important. Singular Pad did a lot of damage to me, and I lost game one. At the same time, in the second game, mm, sinkhole lucky moment again. I play three copies of sinkholes. So, uh, it, this greedy midrange deck have greedy mana base. So, three sinkholes literally destroy mana base. Yeah, my opponent can play a lot of spells. Also, I play two Red Roll Dreams, and when my opponent play went to play something, he already was not a lot of amount of life points, and I played them life with help of Dark Eaton maybe to finish the game. In game three, it was single time again. You <laughs> better say land destroy time. I play on the second turn single and on the third turn strip mine with some creature order or black knight. I don't remember. Mm. My opponent sit with uh, Color Land, one, I don't remember, not City of Brass, I think I destroyed City of Brass, and Factory. And uh, after I play Hippie or even Pair, and just go to attack this card, cards, and don't give a chance to stabilize. Finish game with Drain Life again, yeah, it's uh, regular for Black Midrange deck, play big Drain Life to kill player, not creature. So as you can see, <laughs> My game plan is uh, just believe in luck, <laughs> but uh, funny. So it was fine event for me, not even bad. And oh, I don't tell you, play with goblins won the event. He play four zero because this lot of direct damage is <laughs> very powerful. Yeah, I put the link into. Website of Finland of Community G, so you can read some articles and maybe even play in some events. And it's all that I want to tell you. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for the watching and have a nice day. Bye.